okay so that was the first thing that we're going to do all right so we can see our pictures right okay now i know that everybody's going pictures are going to be a little bit different okay so we're going to adjust them as per what we need right first off we're going to try and figure out whether the picture is too bright or too dark or what's happening in the picture generally in your pictures okay don't worry about comparing it to mine okay mine might be a complete completely different color right it could be a completely different thing happening so just go by what's happening on yours okay so the first thing that we're going to do is down in there we can we can see this little bar that's going to keep just keep rolling to the left right okay so in there we can see the third icon which says adjust okay that's really important so we're going to click on that all right and we're going to open it okay inside there we're going to see different options like lightness contrast warm tint so we're going to go one step at a time okay we're going to understand what it means what it does and how we should use it all right so as we can already see my picture it's a very good well lit picture i don't have to do too much to it to make it look better okay it's pretty nice it's not it's not too bright it's not too dark none of that's happening right so it's a balanced picture so now if your picture is a little bit darker okay when you click on the lightness you can see this little tab we're going to play and toggle with it okay now if i went up the tab see how my picture went a little bit brighter the whites just increased suddenly there's so much white in my picture right i don't want that okay i thought the lightness was pretty good so i'm going to leave it there but what if i went down oh see the picture getting a little bit darker and actually i don't mind it i think it looks really nice so i'm going to leave it that way okay i want all of you to open the lightness and play along with the toggle till you find how it looks good when i say it looks good it needs to not be too bright not be too dark it needs to be somewhere just right it needs to look good to the eye you need to love it okay that's the first step everybody play with the lightness it's looking good not too bright not too dark all right we're going to go to the next part so right next to lightness we can see contrast what is contrast do okay we see the colors in our picture right the in my picture we can see blues and oranges and browns right so if i go to increase the contrast see how the color just became a little bit more poppier yeah we can see that color a little bit better right just became a little bit more dense the color now if i went and put it down ah oh, look how there's like a really grayish gray sheet that just came over my picture right we don't want that okay we want the color to look good yeah but we don't want it to be too much okay so we're going to take our toggle and we're going to play with it till we find something that looks just right so i've increased it a little bit more than what it was in the center the center means it's normal right if we increase it to the right it becomes a little bit more and if we go down the left it becomes a little less okay so as i've increased it my contrast has increased a little bit better and it's looking a little bit better so i'm liking this okay right next to the contrast we have the warmth now what is warm to mean it means to feel warm right to feel hot so when we think of the color or when we think of the word warm what is the color we think of we think of oranges red like fire right yeah so that's the same thing this does technically okay we're just going to put pull our tab to the right see became a little bit more orange but do i want it to be orange do we need this picture to look a little bit more orange there's quite a lot of orange and brown in my picture right now right so i'm going to just go back but maybe if your picture needs it if your picture is a little too blue then it would be a good idea to add some of that warmth and swipe to the right and add it a little bit more so it will look good it'll have a mix of some yellows and oranges and some blues that's the hot colors and the cold colors okay I'm just going to adjust it to a moderate place. I don't want it to become too much. And now there's something called tint, okay? Now this is not a necessity. This is not something that you will need for every picture, but this is like an extra decorative oomph thing, okay? You can add it if you want to or you don't have to, okay? I'll show you what it does. See how my picture just became kind of pink? Yeah? What if I went a little bit higher? Oh my god, that's a lot more pink. No, but what if I went lower? Ah, oh, that's more blue and greens. So, you look at the picture that you have. If you feel like you want to add a little bit more blues or greens, you're going to go left. 
you want to add a little more reds and pinks you're going to add you're going to go to the left right but if you don't want to add anything just stay there that's fine like i'm going to just stay there i think my picture was well balanced there was enough blues there's enough reds i don't want to add any more tones no more colors to it no more tints to it okay now next one that's my favorite this is called saturation okay this basically means to add a lot of color the depth of the color you can see it more poppy right so if i add saturation whoa that just became a lot of blue and a lot of orange right like that's a lot of it right what if we went down oh it became black and white it just took all the color away okay so we don't want we don't want all the color to go away but we don't want it to be too orange and too blue okay so we're going to find somewhere like a mid point and this is still a little bit faded from what we had this is what our original looks like i don't mind a little bit more ah see this feels nice this looks good so we're just going to add a little bit more to it just as like an embellishment to make it look really pretty and really smooth so find in your pictures what you need to add or subtract okay it's not going to be the same as mine but you've got to experiment to figure out what's looking good in yours okay so now that we've done with saturating it i think our images have somewhat reached where we want it to reach right i think everybody's kind of okay is about the way the images are looking is everybody feeling nice about the way the pictures are looking of their ads so the next thing we can do is go to the fade right after we see our saturation there's one more called the fade now what does this do exactly look at this do you see this slight white tint that's come all over the picture almost making it look like a really old picture and not a new picture like you know those old pictures that we would see out of a camera roll in a film like an actual photograph in our hands and it would get really old it would start fading away so that's how it looks so in case you want to make your picture look like it's a really old picture you could do that i wouldn't mind doing that so i'm going to add some fade in fact and i'm going to make it look like it's an old picture okay i'm adding that as an effect onto it now the next thing that we're going to be working on is the highlight all right does anybody know what a highlight means we kind of use this term a lot right generally when we're talking whether it's something to do with makeup or something to do with art so what it what it basically means is going to add some extra light to certain points of your image of your face of all of that so how can we use that okay if your image is dark okay then the highlight is going to be very useful to you okay just by increasing a little bit right now on my image you can see how the light okay you can pay attention to my father's face okay on the top of his head here you can see a lot of light bouncing up right if i increase the if i decrease the highlight the light will go down so check this out okay right okay so you have to find a mid point where the highlight looks good but does not look like it's it's only white and you can't tell what's happening on the face right you got to still be able to see what the face looks like so it's got to be somewhere in the middle if it's not there in your image then add it you got to add some of that highlight to bring that out okay it looks good so bring out some good amount of it not too much of it something just right okay next is the shadow so the complete opposite of highlight is what the shadow does it brings some black into the picture some shadows into the picture some grays into the picture right so in case your image is really 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 bright like it's almost like white okay and you can't really tell what's happening in that picture you're going to really use that shadow there to bring up a little bit more detail of the person in the picture or of, of the maybe there's a picture of a glass and you can't see the glass so just to bring some depth into that some more shape into that you're going to add that shadow there okay this is what it's going to look like if i add the shadow my father's face is barely visible because all of that blackness has come there he was already half only the top of his head was lit up right the rest of it was not so by adding the shadows you can't tell what the face looks like so i'm not going to add any shadows in fact i'm just going to leave it right there i'm going to leave it as it is right okay another fun really really fun thing is colors okay just like how we had the highlight and the sh shadows right now and we spoke about the highlight being white and the shadows being black what if we could color these highlights and shadows what if i could make all the highlights a different color like blue 
then all then my image would look like this or if i made it red then this is what it would look like and what if i made the shadows into colors then look at that or look at that so these are just fun effects that we can always add on to our picture it's not required it's not a necessity but it's just for fun like if you want to add like a little bit more pink into your picture or some green or some red then you can always play around with the color of the highlight and the shadows just to add that little extra thing but without making it look you know like too much okay now what is hue if we increase this you can see how the image has become kind of yellow right it was kind of orange before this right but it kind of became yellow and if i went if i go down it's going to become red from orange so the basic idea of the hue is it adds the greens and yellows or it removes the blues so in this situation it either my image because it's blue and orange my orange becomes white, kind of yellow and if i decrease it it becomes kind of red instead of orange right but i don't want either of those so i'm going to stick to the center if you guys are toggling with it and it kind of looks good to you when you've gone down or up then don't worry about it use it you're supposed to enjoy it you're supposed to like what you're doing right it's supposed to be something that you like okay so go for it all right now this is another fun thing i wouldn't use it for the picture that i'm currently working on right now but i often use this and it's a lot of fun this is called a vignette okay what does it do it kind of adds like this um really cool border around your picture but it's not so much a border as much as this did you see that there's these black things coming from the corners down right almost like a faded effect but like you know with a with a very old camera so this is a very cool effect but i don't use too much of it i use it very slightly see it's still there if i remove it entirely you'll be able to tell so i'm just going to add a little bit of it so it looks a little bit that way and it looks nice it looks like a nice rounded picture it looks very closed and the last thing that we have is the sharpen tool so what does this do it really 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 brings a lot of clarity to the picture sometimes um like this picture the mountain is really far away so you can see really can't tell how clear or how many bumps there are on the mountain right but if i increase the sharpness that mountain just became a lot clearer right but often because there's another there's another person there's an object in front of the mountain that's my dad if i increase the sharpness too much it's going to affect what he looks like so you got to find a nice balance between not making it too sharp but also adding a lot of clarity to the image otherwise because we click this on the phone right it's not going to look like a really 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 good picture it's going to be as good as we can get on our phones right okay so once we've done this basic small edit right it kind of looks cute and now i guess we can go ahead and play along with maybe some effects or some filters add some stickers add some frames and make this more a very 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 father's day kind of picture right so far it just looks like a good picture all right so let's go and let's jump right into the sticker so if you if you, everybody swipes they're going to find a sticker emoji right which is going to let us add stickers okay there are some fun sticker packs which i have downloaded and all of you can download too it's completely free it's for father's day okay so let's just download those sticker packs really quickly and then use the stickers and make this into more of father's day card than it was right okay so i can see in my picture my father is pointing at the mountain right he's pointing back at there so i want to do something with that pointing i want to add something i want to make it look like he's pointing at his happy father's day so i'm going to look for something that's going to look very cute and then i'm going to add it there so we're going to scroll we're going to find something Okay. Okay, so I want to start with these hearts. I think they look very cute. I'm going to make them a lot smaller though. And I'm going to just place them right there. So it looks like he's pointing off to far away really far away three hearts, right? just looks like that okay we can add as many stickers as we want whatever we want there are such cute ones like happy father's day i love you 
my dad will always be my king there are these mustaches really cute bows and ties there are a lot of fun things so this is what i like right now i only like these hearts so i'm going to use them maybe i'm going to put a mustache somewhere if it looks good i think it looks rather silly so i'm going to skip on that all right maybe we can add a tie make it a little smaller so it looks like it's his tie so the cool thing about this is we can make any sticker look exactly how we want it to exactly how small we want it to in the right direction we can do all of that we just got to use both our fingers to turn and rotate the image or the sticker that pretty much does it so i think this looks really cute there's this small tie and he's pointing to a couple of hearts these are all the stickers that i'm going to add okay feel free to add whatever stickers you want to add now i'm going to go to the text section okay i'm going to write on a text a small message for my dad and you all have to do the same okay so i'm going to write best dad ever okay when we go to write on the text can change the font the color the size everything all right how do we do that just next to this we can see this ring of color that's going to choose our colors okay so we're going to i'm going to choose i want to go with black itself but i'm just going to show you how it looks how you can keep changing colors to whatever you want you just got to click on the color and select it so i'm choosing black and this is the font that i want the font that i'm using currently is called daniel We've got a lot of free fonts, so you can choose whichever font that you like, and you can put it there. A lot of pretty fonts. There's Bebas, there is Alio, this one. So I'm liking Daniel. So I'm going to use Daniel. I think that really goes with the hearts that I've also used. It's almost in the same theme. It's like they were made for that itself. best thing is you can always edit it whenever you want you can always move around the stickers whenever you need to go front and back just keep making sure that it looks the way you want it to look oh doesn't that look cute it's like he's pointing at the best dad ever there's like a cute little sign there by the mountains and he's just pointing and he's like i'm the best dad ever right okay i'm going to go back to the sticker i'm not liking the style i'm going to add this instead seems like a very cute badge and i'm going to add this to the corner of my page all right i think this looks great so once now that i'm done playing with all my stickers and everything okay i think i'm i'm at reached a place where i'm really satisfied with the way this is looking so i'm going to do two things two last steps for this picture to get completed first is i'm going to add a border okay how do we do that same place where we found the stickers and the everything we're going to find a little button called frame right that's the second last from the end okay we're going to open that and now we can see these different shapes i want to go with the square so i'm going to keep it to the square now with this toggle we can choose how fat we want the border to be i want a really thin one so i'm going to just go all the way down and make this really thin all right we can even make it circular we can make it like rounded a uh, square we can make a heart out of it we can do whatever so right now it's kind of mirroring the same image that i had as the border and i don't want that i want it to be a black border so how am i going to do that after i select yes and i close and i do this border as this i'm going to go to background all right and now i'm going to change the color so my background is now black that means my border is black and i'm just going to pinch to zoom in and set the picture the way i wanted to set it so now it looks like my dad is pointing at the mountains he's got a black border around him we can change that color to whatever we want it can even be white it can be red orange blue you can use your dad's favorite colors to do the whole thing so my dad's favorite color is blue so maybe we can use blue we can even do textures see at the back we can make it even like a printed paper we can use whatever we want but 
I want to go with something simple this time. I'm going to go with a plain white maybe. I think white will look better. What do you guys think? White looks better as a border or does the black look better as a border? This is black and this is white. Okay, I think I'm liking black better. Okay, so this is how my dad, my father's day, uh, you know, card, small edited photo card is going to look for my dad. Right? Oh, some people are saying white looks better. Hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Should we do it? Make it white? Okay, let's do something. Let's make it white. All right, let's make it white. This is how it's looking in white. So I'm going to just make this a little more centered because this is not in the center. And now it is. Doesn't this look so much better? I just wrote best dad ever, but you all, you all can write whatever you want. You can write, give him a heartful message. You can write something sweet, uh, maybe a couple of lines for him, right? You can do whatever you want. All right, so this is what it looks like. We can even do so many other things. Let me show you one more quick example. So this, since I'm done with this one, I'm just going to save it. Yes, you're going to get an advertisement. But you can just skip it. All right, you save it. Okay, it's gonna save onto your devices, whether you're using a tablet or a phone, whatever it is. It's just gonna save onto your gallery. Okay, and then you can just go back and you can start a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more example. If I was using this picture of all of us, right? My brother, me, and my dad, what would I do for this? Okay, so I'm gonna start completely reverse. Remember how we started with the entire image edit and they adjust before so I'm gonna start with the background this time I'm gonna start completely opposite okay what if I put the background something like this why not okay we're gonna pinch to zoom in and then I'm gonna adjust where I want my picture to come I can make it come to the corner of the entire board or I can set it up in the center just how I want it right so I've set it up in the corner and I've left like this really thick border on the other side okay so now I have so much space on my right and my down to fill in with all of the stickers and all of the messages that I want to write to my dad okay now that I've done this let's go to the stickers we're gonna add the sticker there because it just goes with the same color theme as well. It looks really pretty together. Right? Just add this in the corner of the entire picture. And we can put in some more stickers here. Maybe we can give them a moustache in this picture. Oh, I don't think this moustache is ever going to work. Oh, I still like this sticker better. Looks like the sticker is coming again. Okay, so I've put my sticker, I've added my frame, I've played with my background a little bit. Now, let's go and edit the picture. Make sure that the entire thing is looking good together, right? Okay, we're going to do the same steps. We're going to start with the lightness. Just play and toggle with it. See where we're liking it. And then we're going to freeze it there. So the next part, the contrast. Just adjusting it a little bit better nice do I want a tint I don't want a tint so I'm just gonna skip it we're gonna go to the saturation this image is pretty saturated as is but the little bit of saturation that I added just popped the green behind me a little bit better so I actually like that so I'm just gonna go with it do I want to add a fade probably not the highlight is pretty good I don't want to I'll probably play with the shadow a little bit that looks good a little bit sharpness is gonna good good okay so after the basic edit this is what the image is looking like right now okay we've put the sticker we've got the background ready we've got the frame ready we've got the image looking pretty we're gonna add some text okay let's go to the filter section Let's see what filters we have free. Just 
there are some cool ones but i don't want to use any of them for the current one so i'm just not going to do it okay i think let's add a text let's put a really sweet message on this one This time I can't use the same font. I'm gonna have to change it to something a little bit more better because our background is so busy. We need to make sure that the text stays out of it and stands out of it, right? So I think this is a better font. I can even play with the alignment and the font size and everything and the space between the letters, all of that. I'm just gonna increase the letter spacing a little bit, not too much, right? So it's a little bit more clear. Let's play with the color as well. Black looks good, but I think we can be a little bit more colorful here. We've got to find a nice color that will not clash with the background. Yeah, but it'll still stand out. I think this is a nice one. Also matches what I'm wearing. So it adds more complement to the whole picture as well. Don't feel like you just feel free to explore all of the stickers, whatever there is. Maybe something that's not even related to Father's Day would look really good with it as well. So just feel free to explore how much ever you can. Maybe put some emojis in there. Just play around with it so it looks fun and it looks like a lot of love has been put into it because you have. And that's it, we can do so many fun things with this, right? And that's the basic idea. We just want to make sure that. We get to put in all of the love that we have for our dads into this picture and then when we give it to them, they have a big, big, big smile on their faces. So, I don't know if it's bothering any of you, but see, since the fact that the, what I've written is just coming into one line, there's so much empty space under it, right? And I'm not liking that. So I'm probably going to edit that. I'm just going to go to this. And what we can do is, we can just fill it the next line, that's it. Make it look so much better. And that's pretty much it. You can do so many different things. You can play with all the things from the background to the color of the picture. We can make it a black and white picture. We can do so many cool things. See, let's try that out. The saturation will completely nullify it. It becomes a black and white picture. And it still looks really cool. Right? So feel free to explore it. The more you explore it, the more you're gonna figure out what looks good and better for your picture. And when you do figure it out, please make sure to send it to your dads. And that's how you can make edit any pictures actually, anything, whether it's um, yourself whether it's a picture of something that you clicked right or anything you can play with the colors you can play with the different highlights shadows everything